While he was fighting to become the champion of his category, his father was in prison. Kamaru Osman, a Nigerian born American based fighter, makes waves in the MMA. Kamaru has been fighting all along while his father is behind bars. That story, I don't want us to go into it. But he was invited at the Steve Harvey show where he gave his parents a surprise. Let us see the surprise. Everybody, this gentleman sitting next to me, Kamaru Usman, is an MMA champion, badass. This dude right here in that cage ain't nothing to play with. The reason he is on this show is because this is an unbelievable story of a father and a son's love and a, and a guy who is a champion fighter. On uh, April 24th this year, Kamaru knocked out his opponent in less than two minutes to retain his title as UFC Walter Waite champion. But that wasn't the biggest victory that night. It was having his father ringside for the first time in his career. Let's welcome the Nigerian nightmare himself, Kamaru Usman and his father, Muhammad. Hey man, welcome to the show, man. Thank you, uh, thank you so I'm a huge you. fan. I've watched you for years. In that cage, in the mat, it has been nothing but glory. But out of it, you've experienced a lot of tragedy and heartbreak. T tell us what happened to your father when he was arrested in 2009. Um, in 2009, I mean, we've kind of been battling the case back and forth for a while uh, with, with his bit, one of his business to where it was shut down for a while. And after two years, they said, all right, the business is all right. You got to start something fresh. So everything was settled out. And so we figured, OK, that's done. Move on. And at this time, I a sophomore in college and I'm actually getting on a plane to fly back home because in college I don't get to go back as much as I want because you know I was a wrestler mm -hmm. I'm trying to make sure that I get to that top podium being a national champion in college so I try to stay in school during the summer so I can train and mm -hmm. catch up so I'm getting on a flight and I'm actually going home to see them and I'm walking into the airport and I get a call. And it's my mom and she's just frantic. She's, and, and of course, we all know what, you know, a mother being upset at the highest level is like. So I'm, what's going on? Calm down, tell me what's going on. She's like, they came, they took him, they took him. And then she's, and in my heart, I'm, I'm just floored. I'm at the airport and I'm like, I don't know what I do. Do I get on this flight now? Do I, what's, what do I do? So I go home and that's pretty much when everything started is, how do we begin to fight this case? How do we battle this situation now? And, you know, we did the best that we could with it, but, you know, things happen and, you know, that was life. We just had to roll with everything that was happening. Now, this case that was against your father, he was claiming his innocence. Yes. But so they gave him, a, they offered him a deal. Yeah, they offered him a plea deal. And, you know, talking to him and l looking at the situation, it's like, I'm not going to take three years or five years away from my family because of something that I didn't do. I'm not going to do that. Right. And so, of course, and at that time, we're thinking, no, no, we, we're not going to do that. We're going to fight this because the justice system is going to do what they're supposed to do. Um, mm. You know, and you're not really looking at all the, the, the aspect of how these, the chips are stacked up against mm -hmm. you. And so, of course, you said, no, we're going to go to trial, we're going to do this. And that's when you really start to see the hard way, how the system is, is, yeah. is set up. And so that didn't go our way. And he ended up, um, I think they, they sentenced you, what? 15 years. 15 years. Oh. So, of course, everything going through our minds is, how do we leave school and come back home to help the family? Mm -hmm. And something just told us not to do that. We got to, you know, follow our paths and, and try to help in that way. And of course, it's, you know, having a strong mom 
because now she had to take the leading role. Yeah. So let me ask you this, Mohammed. The judge sentenced you to 15 years. What was going through your mind? It's like a dead man walking. Because mm. when he pronounced it, like 180 months. So I'm like, I was asking the attorney, so what do you mean? 180 months, what is that? He said 15 years. I looked at the judge, looked at my family. <sighs> there was not much I could do. Because they got the handcuffs and everything, so I was in a hurry. So wow. it's like, well, this is it. Man, so you're an immigrant from Nigeria. You're looking at the case, you're thinking, okay, he's innocent. We're going to trust the judicial system. And then you find out what we know about the judicial system that, that that's not how it works here. So now, come on, what were some of the struggles you faced while your father was away? It's why am I even in school? I shouldn't be in school. Mm -hmm. I should be back. Well, I should be doing something else. Why am I even here? But of course, somehow, you know, reasonably having a reasonable mother, you know, we, we you know, we learn how to just, you know, internalize that and, and yeah. continue on our journey and our path. Now, Mohammed, yes. uh, your wife is here, uh, yes. Portia. She's in the audience. audience yeah. uh, Ms. Portia, how you doing? Fine, sir. Wonderful. Let me ask you a question. How did Mohammed's incarceration impact you? It was very difficult because he was the breadwinner of the house. The children were still uh, small in school. I didn't even know what to do then. Mm. So you're away, you're here, you're doing the best you can. Your son, he announces that he wants to become an MMA fighter. How did you react to that? Uh, that was very difficult also. It's like, I want to start fighting. Fighting, you want people to hurt you? <laughs> then it's like, no, I thought he was going to be this WWE where they would throw him up and down. Oh, the wrestling? So you thought he was going to be in the WWE? Uh -huh. Oh, so nice yeah. Corey. Fight, fight. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, you shouldn't do that. Why? Then it's like, mom, this is what I like to do. This is the next step. So here's this guy who's fighting in the UFC. What he doesn't know is his father watches every fight from prison. Now, if you know anything about the UFC, their big fights, all their big fights are on pay-per-view. Kamaru never took a pay-per-view fight. All those years his father was in concert. Why? Well, after I, I um, you know, went back to, I went to go visit him you know, the first times, the first few times, and I, I realized in their, in their room, in one of the, the visitation rooms, they had TVs all in there, you know, so they could watch and I could see some of the channels of Fox Sports 1, and back then, UFC was mainly Fox Sports mm -hmm. 1. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I, I kind of thought about it, and I wasn't in the UFC yet. I thought about it, I said, oh, are they, you guys get this channel? And they said, he told me, yes, we get this channel, we, we watch this here, and so, Whenever I'd get a call for a fight with well, my manager would, you know, get that call. First thing I was going to ask is, is it on Fox Sports 1? And then if he told me, okay, it's on Fight Pass, no, I don't want that fight. I'm okay. Or if it's on pay-per-view, uh, I don't want that one yet. Because now, you want your father to be able to see. Absolutely. I want him to be able to at least see that. Because that's given him a part of me that, unfortunately, he's unable to get. He's unable to see and be there with me. So that was him sharing that moment with me. And the biggest part is the feedback that I got from it because he <laughs> actually got to watch it. Yeah. And not just him, but him and, and, and all the, his friends and everyone that was around him in that area got to watch that. And so that made me feel more complete at that time, knowing wow. that. So how long did you do, Mohammed? Um, 10 years, almost 11 years. 11 years total. Almost 11 years, yeah. Uh, you get out, and for the first time, 
you go to watch your son fight. How did it feel sitting ringside for the first time watching your son? The emotions alone were overwhelming. Sitting out there watching my son mm. was the greatest thing. I mean, that was something, you know what? That's the best day of my life, actually. Mm -hmm. And to roll back, while I was in prison, he made me so popular in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime he wants to fight or they see him on TV, they will be the one coming to tell me, oh, we saw your son on TV. Now, this an uh, ass whooping machine. <laughs> he an ass whooping business, man. That ain't no, uh, that ain't, that's, that's real talk. This a bad boy. He's defended his title and ain't nobody getting this, this boy belt right here. So the reason they're here is because I saw this on TV. He comes into the ring and now I'm crying because Kamaru put his championship belt around his father's waist. <laughs> this moment, how did it feel putting this belt on your father that night? It was surreal for me because um, I visualize from the start, from when I'm in the back of the locker room to the end, to when I'm back in the locker room after the fight. I try to visualize it and I try to make it come to life as much as possible. So in my mind, it was almost like I'd been here before mm. and I'd been there before. So putting that belt around, I couldn't really even, I couldn't really control it. It's one of the moments that I, what I consider the pursuit of happiness. This is family love. Now, Kamaru, I, I know family means everything to you. And that's something that you wanted to say to your parents. Yeah, growing up, um, now being an adult and having to actually think about where I am in life and, and all the different situations that I've gone through, it's, um, it just brings a smile to my face now and also being a parent myself, knowing what you guys have had to go through, what you have had to go through in life just to get us to this point. I just wanna tell you that I am internally grateful because as a father now myself, I understand that one of those moments in life is for you to feel that. <laughs> I want, you to, I want you to know that everything that you've done is, is for the better and you have helped to lead your child to that, uh, that place where you can say, I'm proud of what they've become. I'm proud. So I just want to let you know, thank you for everything that you've done for us. Thank you, son. Thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank and you, thank uh, you, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. I love you, my mom. I love you, I love you. <laughs> The same for my mom as well. I, I don't know if you know this, but I, I don't want you to feel like you don't get enough credit uh, for everything that you've done. You know, you're very hardworking. You've done everything that you can for us. And we grew up in our family home. You know, and I told you, I let you guys know that one thing that we wanted to do is make sure that we got you, you know, your house that you wanted. And so um, we have a surprise for you. Look under your seat. Wow. Okay, open it, huh? open it. Open this. So me and, uh, me and my siblings got together. I, I told you I wanted you guys to look for your house and uh, you said huh? that you found one that huh? you like. So those are the keys to your, uh, you guys. Oh. 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 This house here. Yeah. Hey, mama, that house right there. Wow. Hey. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Samuel. God bless you. This dude right here, man. <laughs> the power of this story is crazy, man. And I just wanted to share it with you all. Now, mama. That key in there is the key to that house. <laughs> I know you're trying to work this out, Mom. That's your house. It really is. Your kids bought it. Your son is a champion. Your husband is home. 
and you finna go in there and ball out and decorate your house, <laughs> mama. Uh, and thank oh. you all for being here today. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>